Well, the biggest challenge for President Obama vis-a-vis -vis Israel has not been any particular policy decision. What I think there is on both sides is a kind of tone deafness to the animating concerns of the other. And so what I hope he can do is not just go with his typically brilliant head, but go with a warmer heart. I hope what he can do is actually go to Israel and not say anything about the Holocaust and not look at the modern state of Israel as simply something the Jews are owed because six million plus were murdered, but actually see one of the greatest, most exciting experiments in liberal democracy in the 21st century. To go and not simply feel what is Israel owed or what does Israel deserve, but what the partnership that has been the U.S.-Israel relationship can be because of how many shared values there are between the two. And what I hope the current Israeli administration can do is actually be a little less fearful. Actually trust that that overlap in our values and commitments is so real that actually the first response by each party when there is a moment of disagreement, because even in great relationships there are disagreements, but when you really do care about each other, when you really do know you share a destiny, the first question when you disagree is, wow, what do I need to learn from this disagreement? That is actually what both President Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu need to do on their upcoming visit. One hopes, because I honestly don't think that there will be peace in the Middle East, not for Israel, not for the Palestinians, not for a future Palestinian state, without significant U.S. involvement. I hope what it does, more than anything else, is serves to both put on alert and build confidence in both the Israeli leadership and the Palestinian leadership, that the president is taking a chance by putting his credibility on the line, because every time a U.S. president lands in a foreign country, especially when there are problems and they're staking their reputation on being involved in the process, so that he's now got a whole different level of skin in the game. What it needs to do is invite and evoke the exact same commitments from those two sides to understand if the president is this much more invested, we too need to find new levels of investment in this process. I don't think we're going to see immediate results, so the other side of this is managing expectations. The president will not land in Tel Aviv, drive to Jerusalem, and then visit Ramallah and release the doves. That's not going to happen. It's a long process, but it's one that I think can really be engaged more seriously by the president's presence in the Middle East.